What the hell is going on? Where's our air support? Get those forward guns going. Why aren't those rear batteries firing? Somebody get General Wilson on the horn! Colonel Fury. Doom. I'll have your head for this. I have little time for your petty threats, Colonel. Surrender your ship now, or I shall destroy it. Not on my watch. This is a priority alert to all metahumans. UN and Alpha request immediate assistance. Thor, take care of those gunships. Spider-Man, draw them towards the stern. Sure thing. I just love being a target. Wolverine, you Stoic. go it, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. Staten Island. scares me. Over to catch someone being a hero. Looks like I hit the jackpot! I'm working for the biggest group of villains this world has ever known. The Masters of Evil! <laughs> That's the best part of all. We're led by the man himself. Doctor Doom. If you only knew. Cause Doom's got a plan that's gonna shake the heavens! You want to get tough, punk? Good. Cause so do I.
Thanks for responding to my SOS so quickly. The Helicarrier is under attack by a group of supervillains called the Masters of Evil. And to make matters worse, they're led by Victor Von Doom. My thoughts exactly. It's not important. I told you it's not important. Colonel Fury, this is the Black Widow. The Masters of Evil have activated the launch cycle of our nuclear missiles. I need help if they are to be stopped. Help is on its way, Black Widow. Fury out. Team. Just one of those missiles could level an entire city. Failure is not an option. You have to get to the launch bay and stop them. Cap, it's good to see you. We got here as quickly as possible, sir. It started when radar detected distant ghost images. But they disappeared, so we figured it was just an atmospheric disturbance. They do. When they hit us, it was a complete surprise. They took out our main weapon batteries and our fighter bays in a matter of seconds. And they've thwarted every attempt we made to counterattack. They're a group of supervillains led by Dr. Victor Von Doom. There's been sightings of dozens of major criminals. Ultron, Baron Mordo, just to name a couple. I'd expect nothing less from an organization headed by Doom. The Black Widow is my second in command. She goes where I go. And that training has proven invaluable. I've never met a soldier who's calmer or more resourceful than the of battle. We were hit pretty hard in the initial attack. We took out our forward batteries and damaged half our fighter bays. Yes, to make matters worse, they've destroyed two of our primary engines. We're near the limit. If they damage any additional systems, we're gonna make a real big crater when we hit the ground. Carry on. I won.
stop those missiles from firing is to destroy the consoles that control them. Stay down! Bigger and badder. Well, well, aren't you just an impressive bunch of heroes? Too bad my good buddies Daredevil and Electra weren't with you. You wouldn't be trying to stop the nuclear missile I just launched, would you? Hey, if the boss wants me to launch a missile at a heavily populated city, I do it. I don't get paid to ask questions. Sorry, I can't. And even if I did step aside, there's nothing you could do. I've got the only access card to the navigation computer. I choose or else. I was not harmed. Black Widow, I specifically ordered you not to engage the enemy. I... I am sorry, sir. It was unavoidable. Very well. At least you're safe. Team, you have to stop the enemy from destroying the engine. If they're successful, the helicarrier is finished. glad to see you. Someone named the Winter Soldier hacked into our network. He managed to trap several of us with our own security force fields. Can you unlock the system? Go to the security console and reboot the system. 
It'll take two of your team members to activate it. And watch out for traps. Winter Soldier may have put laser tripwires along the way. If you walk through them, a bomb will be triggered. Thanks for setting us free. Being trapped in our own rooms was kind of an embarrassing situation. Good luck. Be careful. of Odin stands triumphant. Winter Soldier, give up! I'm here to stop you from destroying the helicarrier engines. Captain America... Can't say it's good to see you again. You have dealt with this fool before? Oh, yeah. Cap and I go way back, don't we, buddy? Winter Soldier, please. Stop this before the helicarrier is destroyed. Thousands of lives will be lost. Sorry, no can do. I've got my orders. You of all people understand that, don't you? Orders have always been so important to you. I'll fight you if I have to. Then what are you waiting for? Let's see what you got, old man. Got a little carried away, but we're on it. Lower the force fields and let's clear out of here. It is lucky for you we must depart. 
I was just getting warmed up. But we will meet again, I promise you. Sorry about that. I told you they'd follow. They're as predictable as the sunrise. Come then, heroes. Follow us a bit further. <laughs> We're up here. Now you've had it. Yes. Let us see how you fare against this force. Attack! Too late. In a matter of moments, the Winter Soldier will have unlocked the security code for this gun. Then, we shall fire it into the engine. Don't you understand? You can't defeat the Masters of Evil. We're just too powerful. Abandon ship while you still can. He has a plan that will give us all enough power to live like kings for an eternity. Quiet, Chen. You've already said too much. Ah! It does not matter. They will not live to tell anyone. Why don't we make sure of that?
time to waste. The Masters of Evil have unleashed some huge creature that's attacking our primary engines. If it succeeds, we're all dead. Okay, who's next? Is he always late? Hello, team. Welcome to Stark Tower, my pride and joy. It's 40 stories of heaven on Earth. Huh. It's amazing what you can do with just a few billion dollars. 
We are now a team? Yes. I've been empowered by S.H.I.E.L.D. to create a task force to stop the Masters of Evil. But the Helicarrier was so badly damaged that it can't be used as a headquarters. Fortunately, Tony is willing to let us stay here for the duration. It has all the facilities we'll require. Believe me, it's no problem at all. And I called in a few old friends to help us out. Feel free to walk around and meet them. I'd suggest you meet Hank Pym first, since he's in charge of equipment. The Vision is here as our information officer. Great. We got a computer to talk to the computers for us. When you're ready to go on a mission, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He'll take you there in one of my Quinjets. Speaking of that, what is our next mission, Colonel? I recently received a radio transmission from Dum Dum Dugan requesting that I come to the Omega base. But there was something questionable in his message. You think it might be a trap? Maybe. I can't be sure. For more information, talk to the Black Widow. Wyatt Wingfoot. In case you didn't know, I'm your pilot while you're here at Stark Tower. Fury, we'll be taking Red the Quinjet when you're ready six. to leave on a mission. Sure. What do you need? Warning. Discreetly. As in, don't let Fury know? Yeah, I can do that. Give me a little bit. I think I know just the person to ask. There's a hacker on He's kind of an oddball, but I think he's up to the challenge. If you don't mind me asking, whose laptop is this? So, you think Natasha's up to something, eh? Maybe working for the other team. Stark needed a pilot, and he knows I've flown for the Fantastic Four, so I guess he figured I had the skills. I was roommates with Johnny Storm back in college. He introduced me to the group, and after a while, they started inviting me on missions. It's a high-tech jet developed by Stark's company. It's usually used by the Avengers. It's undetectable to radar, to take off and land itself. Heck, it'll even dial the phone for you. Plus, it's got the latest in jet engine technology. This thing will get you around the world in no time. Any time at all, friend. The nanotechnology team will be meeting in the Uptronics lab. <laughs> Colonel Fury, Red Rolfson is on line six. Warning, a small thermal nuclear device is missing. Hi, and my name's Hank Pym. Dr. Hank Pym. I've heard you're going to the Omega base. If you see my cybernetic helmet, could you bring it back to me? I was working on a new version of my cybernetic helmet, but then Captain America called and said you guys could use somebody with a little technical know-how. Hey, I'm glad to be helping out. Besides, I was getting bored working in a lab all day. Oh yeah, and well, that's where I was working on my cybernetic helmet. It's a real nice facility. I didn't see a whole lot because of security, but I do know there's a team working with gamma bombs, and I think a new study is being done on the super soldier drug. Come back anytime. We're always open. Greetings. My name is Vision. I will be your primary source of information concerning any persons or locales you might encounter. Unfortunately, my line to the SHIELD database has a security issue. Would you retrieve a decryption module from Black Widow and bring it to me? I am glad to be of assistance. Hello.
Hello, my name is Black Widow. I am second in command to Colonel Fury. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message. He requested Colonel Fury visit the Omega base immediately for an update on the Super Soldier Serum. Dugan said Dr. Banner would give the report. The odd thing being Dr. Banner is not on the Super Soldier project. Since we don't know this situation, you are to sneak aboard the base and locate Dugan. From there, we'll determine the best course of action. When you are ready to go, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He will take you in a Quinjet. The offer was initially made after a shield operation, where I switched identities with a countryman of mine, Yelena Balova. Yes, the blonde one. I declined the offer, but as we all know, Colonel Fury can be very persistent. It is a huge mobile shield research facility that is several stories tall. Yes, it is used to field test some of our most highly classified experiments. My apologies. I should have given it to him as soon as we arrived. Please, take this to him. You are quite welcome. Thank you for the decryption module. Now I can patch directly into the SHIELD database. The acronym stands for Strategic Hazard Intervention, Espionage and Logistics Directorate. Its primary responsibility is counter-terrorism for the world. Operating under the jurisdiction of the United Nations, SHIELD is expected to deal with any threat to the security of the world's population. That designation has been used several times over the years, but it is not associated with any particular group of villains. Dr. Doom has assembled dozens of the world's most notorious supervillains, not the least of which is Ultron and Baron Mordo. Victor Von Doom was raised in the tiny European country of Latveria. The untimely death of his parents made Doom vengeful towards the world. A genius, he attended Empire State University. Unfortunately, Doom performed a dangerous experiment that resulted in an explosion. As a result, Doom was expelled. Bitter, he traveled the world until he met Tibetan monks who created his first suit of armor. Doom then returned to Latveria where he overthrew the government and proclaimed himself ruler. The Black Widow was a Russian spy who defected several years ago. Upon joining S.H.I.E.L.D., she rose quickly through the ranks until she became Colonel Fury's number one operative. There is nothing on her S.H.I.E.L.D. record to indicate otherwise. Why, do you ask? I am glad to be of assistance. Cap, it's good to see you. You're a welcome addition to the team. Thank you, sir. It's good to be here. Yes. We're a S.H.I.E.L.D. task force created to investigate the masters of evil. It's our mandate to stop Doom and his army before they cause any serious damage. S.H.I.E.L.D. is an international organization. We belong to no one and to everyone. With the helicarrier seriously damaged, we had to find a different base of operations. Tony Stark offered the use of these facilities. Exactly. Though well, I'm surprised to be here. You see, Stark Industries and S.H.I.E.L.D. recently had a falling out. Yes, Stark recently stopped developing weapons for us. As you can imagine, we were less than enthusiastic. S.H.I.E.L.D. tried applying pressure, both legal and not so legal. But I gotta hand it to Stark. He held his ground even though he's lost billions. Anytime.
Hi. It's good to see you. Let's not get all formal. Call me Wyatt. We're close to the landing zone, so I'll be brief. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message requesting I meet him at the Omega base for a report on the latest super soldier serum. What's so suspicious about that? Dr. Banner was to give the report. The only thing is, Banner has been working on the Gamma Bomb project, not the super soldier serum. Dugan would never make a mistake like that. Something's up. What is the Omega base? It's a mobile lab that's over five stories tall. We use it for field testing experiments. Oh, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s the greatest. Flying aircraft carriers, office buildings on wheels. Oh, please tell me you've got a tunnel that runs from New York to Tokyo. Spider-Man, this is serious. Colonel, is there anything on board the Omega that would be considered dangerous? If the contents of that vehicle were to fall into the wrong hands, it would be disastrous for all mankind. Exactly what are you developing that could threaten the entire planet? That's classified. So it's all right for us to save the vehicle. We just can't know what's going on there. Correct. Now, if I may continue, the team's mission will be to sneak on board the Omega and locate Dugan. He should be able to bring you up to speed on the situation. Any questions? All right, good luck. gas was spread through the ventilation system of the base. I woke up to Dr. Doom demanding I bring Colonel Fury here or he'd ram the Omega into Vondrak Dam. Well, the Tin Man must have forgotten his part of the bargain, because the base is headed straight for that dam. I should have known. It was stupid of me to believe him. Don't sweat it. If it weren't for your message, we wouldn't have come at all. Then where'd everyone be? I suppose you're right. But our time's running out. Get me to the primary engineering control room, and I'll stop the Omega before it can do any damage.
curse that infernal doom. I can't do anything from this control room. Not to worry, there's a control room just ahead. Hopefully Doom left it alone. Get me there, we should be fine. Well done, team. Now, let's see about stopping this behemoth. Blast it. All controls have been locked down, except those on the upper bridge. Correct. We'll have to reach the top deck and stop the Omega base from there. Sounds like a plan. Good luck. 